Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to take you through how to replace the wax ring under your toilet. And on one of my toilets I noticed that uh, there was a little water uh, poking up by one of the bolts that holds the toilet down to the floor. And um, I don't notice any leaks underneath, but before it gets worse I just want to replace it. And uh, I'm going to take you through a couple of different types of wax rings you can buy. And then we're going to go through the, uh, the replacement or installation. Okay, so the first uh, type of you know, wax ring you have to choose from is the standard wax ring. And um, this is fairly inexpensive, and it's a shallow one. So this is a, the one that would fit a traditional toilet install. And all you do is just uh, uh, take this plastic piece off, place it down over the, center it over the, the hole in the floor where the pipe is, set the toilet on it, and press down firmly and straight down. Now this other wax ring over here is a uh, thicker one and you might use something like this if your toilet flange is below the floor level. That's the situation I have with the toilet uh, that we're going to look at in a few minutes where the flange is below the level of the floor because we've got tile and everything else that it built up around it. And this one is a bit thicker. Okay, You can see the difference where you got a little bit more meat on it uh, for that installation where the toilet might sit much higher than the flange. And the, the install is the same way, same concept. You just have more wax here. And it's really important that you set it down right and straight the first time and press it down firmly uh, straight down the first time because if you kind of mess it up and wiggle it, you'll really, you'll screw up the wax ring. You'll, you'll, it won't set straight and then you might have to scrape it all off and start with a with a new one so another option you have um, some other you know there's some new technology now so there's this uh, fluid master one here it this one doesn't use wax at all so what it is is a um, let me set this aside this is the is the piece this goes right into the pipe in the floor this sets right over your uh, flange in the in the floor and um, you set your toilet right on top of this just like that and you don't have any wax the seal's supposed to be better except I'm not quite sure about how the toilet sitting on this rubber gasket is going to do I'm hoping that it it would uh, seal everything properly I'm not quite sure if I'm using this yet they also provide you with this addition this spacer in the situation where your toilet uh, sits a little higher from the flange like I just described a moment ago. They provide you with this spacer so that way um, uh, you can accommodate that situation. So I likely, if I were to use this one, I'm going to likely also need the spacer here. By the way, all of these um, uh, options provide you with additional um, uh, bolts that you'll need to attach the toilet. The ones that I have in the toilet right now are rusted, so I'm going to be replacing those regardless. If for whatever reason you um, uh, you just need to replace the bolts, you can just buy those without having to buy one of these rings uh, at your lo local home improvement center. Uh, so here's another one. It's called um, Perfect Seal from this company called Next. And by the way, I'm going to link to all of these in the description in case you can't find one of these for whatever reason at your local home improvement store. This one's a little different in that um, there is... A little bit of a wax ring here okay and it sits like this so if you have a normal toilet installation this is how it'll it'll work okay and then if you need the extension then this will go, be the, your extension to go on top of it and your whole toilet will sit here okay and then um, your, your bolts will come through through the side now um, I was reading up about some of these things online and you know there's some talk uh, where uh, in some of the reviews some people love this and some people said that it was a piece of garbage and um, and that it didn't sit properly and then there were some some leaks so I quite honestly I'm not sure which of these I'm going to use I'm going to try one of these two first and then if uh, all else fails I'll end up going back to the thick wax ring which I'm hoping I don't have to do because I kind of prefer the, the newer technology here so now we're going to go into the bathroom and we'll, we'll see what we're dealing with. Okay, here we are and uh, we're in this bathroom. 
a little light in the shower to see if I can light us up here while we record this. But, you know, down here is where um, I saw a little water poking up a little bit every time we flush. And you know, this is rusted. So the first thing we need to do is turn the water off. And then um, flush the toilet to get some of the water out of the tank. And, and then what I'm going to need to do is um, use a sponge to uh, soak up all the water out of the inside of the tank and out of the bottom of the toilet. And I'll uh, dispose of it that way. We want to get everything dry. Okay, now the uh, tank is uh, all the water is removed from the tank. I'm going to dump this in the sink and we're going to now take the water out of the toilet. Got to get every drop out because when we pull this toilet out, if I don't, I get water on the floor. Not sure if you can see this, but I'm going to take this off. And uh, probably should have something to put this water in because water might spill out of this. Just use the sponge. Okay, so now we're going to uh, start on taking these bolts apart. And hopefully like it's spinning on me so I might have to I got some vice grips on here it's working so now I got it all off and um, some wax in here we're gonna get the other bolt off on the other side and then we're gonna lift the toilet out okay both bolts are off and on this side didn't do it on camera but it was frozen, rusted shut, so I had to uh, use a Dremel first with a cutoff wheel, and that wasn't working. Those kept breaking. I had a handhold hacksaw blade to get that one off. So now I got to lift the toilet out and see what we're dealing with. All right, so let's see what we're dealing with here. We have obviously a lot of wax, and it looks like that rubber gasket wasn't quite seated properly. Wasn't noticing any leaks down below, thank God for that, but this looks like it was not seated properly to begin with. So I'm gonna pull all this out, toss it, and then uh, prep the surface. Then we have to figure out which of these wax rings or non-wax rings that we looked at earlier we're going to use when we put this back. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to uh, get all this crap off of here. This might be a job in itself. Alright, I'm going to clean this up a little bit more, then I'm going to grab uh, one of these toilet flanges. So I was actually wrong, this thing is sitting up above, so I don't need the extension. So we're going to see what we're going to do here. Okay, after doing some measuring, I think I'm going to use uh, this one without the spacer. I'm going to put this one in here, like this, and... Um, We'll try to seat the toilet, and I feel like if it's seating us uh, in a snug fashion, then I'll uh, I'll go with this. If it looks like I'm not hitting this uh, this gasket here, then I might add the extension. But I think when I measured it with the extension, it looked like it was bringing it up too high. So uh, so we're gonna move ahead with just using this one. Okay, so now we're going to install these bolts in the uh, toilet flange in the floor. Uh, then, then we're going to seat the uh, uh, gasket right over the bolts. Can you 
these little plastic tabs are great at helping to keep the uh, uh, the bolt set. Now these things are really tall. After we get the toilet on here, I'm going to probably have to um, uh, trim them, you know, with a hacksaw or something. And we're going to put this over. I'm going to push the pull the rubber gasket down below, get it in there. So it doesn't get pinched. Okay. That's good. So the other thing I wanted to make sure is that um, uh, this thing is set in a spot that's actually even and uh, in a straight line based on where the toilet needs to be installed. So I measured off of the wall and each one is exactly the same distance from the wall. And if that's what's something you should do to make sure that it's not tilted like this because if you, that's the case, when you go to drop the toilet on top, you're not going to be centered over the holes. We're going to attempt to get this thing uh, installed now. So, maybe one of the hardest parts. It's seated on there, rubbing on the back of the wall. A bit. So um, I'm gonna clean this up. Start installing the uh, the washers and bolts and everything. All right, so we're gonna get this thing on here now. And uh, washer. Okay, this is actually uh, pretty sturdy. So it's different not having the wax. That wax ring provided a little bit more support around the bottom of the toilet and um, versus that narrower, thinner gasket. Okay, so I'm not gonna cut these off yet. We're gonna hook, hook up the water right now so we can test out the toilet. And then uh, we'll use the toilet for a couple of days and then if we're comfortable with the stabilization of it, uh, then I'll cut off the cap, the, uh, the tips and put the white caps back on. And what you could always do is uh, put a little caulk under the spots that seem to be moving a little bit, if that's the case. Now this floor likely could be part of the problem if, that's the, if that happens because it may not have been laid down evenly, all kinds of different things, a little high spot in the tile. so. Anyway, let's connect the water. Give it a flush. Not that, not that we're gonna be able to tell too much from one flush. Uh, you know, the only way I'm gonna really know if there's a problem is if I go downstairs underneath the bathroom and to the crawl space and look to see if there's any leaks but you know it felt pretty stable it's seated pretty well it's working well and as far as i'm concerned this is a successful uh exchange of the uh you know wax ring even though we didn't use wax on the replacement so anyhow hopefully this installation helped you if it did please hit that subscribe button and bell notification icon for future videos thanks for watching and come again soon